How are we? Good. I got one good. How are we? Okay. How are we? Good. And Mark Eden is awesome. <laughs> he took your space. All right, this morning we're going to be talking a lot about shepherds and sheep. Sheep. What do you know about sheep? They have wool. They have wool. Bah. They baa. That was a good baa. What else do you know about sheep? They're animals. They're, they can be white. Look. There are different colors. Look. Yeah, totally. Well, I have some fun facts about sheep for you because I had to go look, because I, I don't know a lot about sheep, really. So I want to tell you some fun facts. Are you ready about that? Did you know that sheep have rectangular pupils in their eyes? Those, that, that thing in the middle of your eye, ours are round, theirs are rectangles. I don't know that you can see really good in this picture. So you can't really see very good in the picture. We're, we're going to have to take a field trip and go see some sheep. You do? Okay, awesome. Sheep have an excellent sense of smell. Did you know that they communicate with each other and the surroundings through their scent? They have scent glands in front of their eyes and between their hooves that produce secretions, smells, so that they can talk to each other. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think as humans, we try not to smell, right? Um, the mama sheep, which are called ewes, is that how you say it? E-W-E? U? 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 I don't know. But the mama sheep <laughs> recognize their lambs, their babies, bleat. So when the baby lamb calls out, the mama knows out of all of the sheep which one is hers. That's pretty cool. Don't you think? You think your mom could recognize your voice? Yes. Mm, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Sheep um, actually know about plants and other substances that can heal them. They will go, if they're injured, they will go out and seek out a plant that will help heal them. How cool is that? Sheep have an upper lip that is divided by a distinct groove called a philtrum. You see that? The little groove in their upper. The philtrum helps them get close to the ground. They like to eat grass and think uh, plants that are really close to the ground. And so that little split in their lip helps them grab the plants close to the ground. Here's a funny one. Sheep do not have top front teeth. <laughs> that would be funny. I, I got to go check out a sheep, I'm telling you. And sheep are highly social animals. When sheep gather together, what's it called? Do you know the word? Close, but no, because then F. Flock. A flock of sheep, right? So they're very social animals, but they don't stay um, connected in a flock just for protection. They actually are social animals. They like to ha have friends. And they know when their friends are scared or hurt or whatever, and they bond together. So today in our scripture reading, when Jesus talks about being the shepherd and we are his sheep, what does that mean about us, about some of those things that I taught you about as sheep. What are some important things about us as sheep? Wow, wow. Like, Jesus knows our voice and can pick us out no matter where we are. Just like the mama sheep can pick out the, the baby. And the sheep know the voice of the shepherd in the scripture that we're going to read. And so we as sheep listen for that shepherd's voice so that he can guide us and the places that we need to be. He guides them to water when they need water and to food and protects them. Yeah, do you have a question? Does song have different voices? Yeah, sure. Right? So we're all, we're all unique, right? Every sheep is unique. Just like us. Pretty cool, huh? But Jesus, the shepherd, loves us 
the same. All of us who are unique with our unique voices and our unique abilities and all of that. It's pretty amazing. And our job is to listen for his voice, for the shepherd's voice, right, who helps us to know where to go. How do we listen to Jesus' voice? It's a great question. It's hard sometimes, right? It's hard because there's a lot of voices going around in our heads, right? The voices of people that tell us we're bad, right? Right? That's bad. Um, the voice in my head that tells me I have to be perfect no matter what, right? That's not a good voice to listen to. But Jesus' voice is the voice that brings us life. We hear it in prayer. We find it in uh, other people when they speak to us and tell us life-giving things, hopeful things, right? So I'm going to say, knowing these people out here, that listening for the voice of the shepherd and recognizing it actually takes an entire lifetime. Like, we never get it perfect. <laughs> Am I right, people? Yeah, yeah. They're like, look at all these sheep out there. Um, they're trying really hard. That's why they're here, is because they're trying to listen to the voice of the shepherd, and they're going to get it right sometimes, and sometimes we're not going to get it right, but you know what? We're still going to stay in this flock, and we're going to help each other out. It's pretty cool. So I'm so glad that you guys are here and a part of our flock as well. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. Let's have a prayer, and then you can go out with my friend Chris, okay? Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for each and every sheep that are a part of our flock and for the ones that are still waiting for us to know. They are not strangers. They are just friends waiting to be made. And so I ask your blessing on us, your flock, and on these little lambs as they continue to grow and learn from you and grow in their faith. May you bless them and be with them always in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much. Okay, you want to ba on your way out with Chris? Ba, go be sheep. Help them out, friends. There you go.